International University Consulting. How many of you want to study abroad? <laughs> and how many of you are international students? Today we will be proposing international services and programs. And now our team and I will introduce ourselves. Hello, my name is Jenna Stripling and I graduated from the University of West Georgia with a BBA in Marketing. I have over 20 years of marketing experience. Collins. I'm a graduate from West Georgia with a BBA in management and I have over 25 years of experience. Hello, my name is Christine Davis. I'm a graduate of the University of West Georgia. I graduated with a BBA in mass communication. I have over 10 years of communication experience. Hello, I'm Jordan. I graduated from the University of West Georgia with a BBA in finance. I have over 15 years in finance experience. Hello, my name is Benny Lee. I graduated from the University of West Georgia with BBA in finance degree, and I have 10 years in experience in finance. Again, I'm Monique and I'm here to introduce our company. Our presentation goal is to introduce International University Consulting, help you see what IUC can do for you, and to gain international services and programs as a client. A few universities we have worked with is Kennesaw State University, Georgia Tech, Georgia State University, and UGA. Now I'm going to pass it over to you. Hi, I'm Joy again, and I will introduce you our company background. Our international university consulting company was founded in 1990s, and uh, we and we provide customers a uh, high quality and professional study abroad consulting service. We have various offices overseas and to provide a follow-up service. And no matter where the students study, uh, are studying, we can you can turn to uh, you can go for our uh, office for help. And now I will turn it over to Kristen Davis, who will discuss with you the statement of need. Hi. Okay. Hello, I'm Christine Davis. Now you guys are probably wondering what is our mission statement. Our mission is to continue crafting powerful messages for our clients and provide them with insightful ideas and measurable results. Our statement of needs. There are three main areas where changes are necessary to you. Sorry, our statement of needs. There's, there's three main areas where we find changes are necessary to improve your department dealing with its clientele and communication strategies. One is dealing with the image creation. With this, we'll be rebranding and relaunching your department images by using our firm's communication and marketing methodologies to redefine your department image. Second is the launching strategies. Our consultant firm will, will come up with ways to get international students on campus and off campus involved in your department by having fundraisers and social events. At these events will at these events will be your company's your department business card will be distributed. Third is the communication services. Now we come up with ways as to how to make it easier on the international students to communicate effectively with you guys. We will have a 24 hour chat line available for those international students who are not able to go face in, in your office and ask questions. And with these 24 hour live chats 
they can ask questions and get quick response that way. Also, we recommend that your department be student friendly as far as their visuals. So it's appealing to the international students to walk into your office and be comfortable in the environment that they're in. Third, because the department is dealing with international students, we recommend that few of your staff, staffs and faculty members be bilingual since the, since the international service is international for international students. Now, I will be introducing Jenna, and she will be talking about the intern and external communication. Okay, after analyzing the department, I am now going to present to you the internal and external communications within international services and programs. Because the department is a relatively small department here on campus and it's all in one building, the main line of communication is face-to-face -face meetings. This includes the staff meetings that are held every other week between the staff and administration of the department. And this also includes just simply walking from office to office if you have a question or concern regarding the department. Also, email is a huge communication strain communication channel that is used internally in the department. Um, this includes emails that are sent daily regarding the department itself, any questions, concerns between staff and administration. A new channel of communication that has just been implemented is electronic newsletters and these are sent via email. Okay, and I will now go over the external communications between the department and students, and also members, potential members, and the community. A main communication channel that's being utilized is the West Georgia website. As you know, there's a web page on the website for the International Services and Programs Department. You can go on the website and you can go to the web page and you can see information regarding the department, the programs that they offer, contact information, information about the staff, and you can also find a link to the new study abroad website on this department, on this website, sorry. <laughs> and this website for the study abroad programs actually give information regarding the study abroad program if you're interested at all. Also, a new means of communication is social media, mainly Facebook. And I did notice that your department is trying to help this grow and use this more often. Another communication channel that's used externally to mainly the students here on campus are the, is the study abroad fair that's, that's here on campus and also career services. A main line of communication that I think all students have seen is that the, the department goes out to the different classes and presents the study abroad program to the students. They share with the students information about the study abroad program, and they're also there for any questions that the students may have regarding study abroad. Okay, here's a pie chart that displays the current communication strategies being implemented at international services and programs. 60% being the internet, 25% being face-to-face, -face, and this is mainly internally in the department and 15% being miscellaneous, and this includes posters around campus, brochures, and presentations. Okay. I've also conducted a SWOT analysis displaying the strengths, weaknesses, threats, and opportunities of the International Services and Programs Department. Some strengths that I took note of are that there are communication on, all, on multiple levels of the department, and also the util, util, utilization of the internet, um, which email and also with the Facebook that's now being implemented. A weakness that I took note of is that you're still learning the best way to communicate internally and externally with students, members, and, and potential members here on campus. A threat that I took note of is that there's limited resources. Like I said before, the department is relatively small and we hope to help you be able to grow. An opportunity is that the new website that I told you about, the Study Abroad website, does create in-depth communication for your department. 
And I will now hand this over to Betty Lee, and she is going to present to you the recommendations of our proposal. Uh, hello, I'm Betty Lee, and I, I'd like to introduce our recommendations. Um, there are three parts in this section, and the last part have two recommendations. Um, first, first part is about how to improve the environment. Image. We have two. We have two sections that, that will help to brand the department image. First, advertising using posters, posters and, and merchandise. Posters could uh, introduce the functions of the international service and programs to make more people know about this department. Um, posters could contain the exchange programs. And activities uh, to make people, uh, to give students who want to study about the more information, uh, and and the staff uh, also could uh, hand out the merchandise such as uh, pens and uh, pens and notebooks with their own logo on it uh, uh, as a gift to students. Uh, that may attract more people. Um, second is about. Uh, Internet advertising. Um, when potential clients skim through the related website, they will see our uh, adult advertisement, and if they are interested in the department, they will visit the, they will visit the website. Um, for example, um, the international service and programs um, could have an uh, advertisement with a link in LinkedIn. You know, many people now using LinkedIn. Um, that means when they, that means it will extend the influence of the department. Um, the second part uh, is about to uh, increase client membership. Uh, one way to improve membership is that the department could uh, organize uh, speeches and uh, activities uh, to invite international students uh, to take part in. Uh, the, the international students uh, who are currently attending to the university uh, may face the language problems and uh, uh, cultural difference. They may be confused uh, to solve these problems. Uh, the speeches and the uh, activities will maybe be helpful for them to solve these problems and uh, build stable membership with them. Uh, second is to uh, is to, the second is to take more time to introduce exchange programs. Um, sometimes students want to study abroad, uh, but they need more information. Uh, and more guide guidelines as to uh, tell them how to do so, uh, and by providing more information, uh, and by providing more information about exchange programs, will increase the client uh, membership. Uh, the third part is about develop uh, external communication. Um, one one I don't, one suggestion. I would recommend is to develop a more scholarship funding for the study about programs and for the international students who are currently attending to the University of West Georgia. Greater funding for scholarship to the study abroad program would be extremely helpful for students who want to study abroad but simply can't um, get funds can't get uh, the funds to do so. Uh, also, the scholarship uh, would uh, encourage the international students to work and study hard in their uh, classes. Another advice is to uh, uh, another advice for international students and the programs is to utilize the, the social media, uh, such as Facebook and uh, Twitter, as a means of communication for University of West Georgia. Uh, as you know uh, from the home part, um, 
international service and programs, just using UWG home website, uh, lend it to using uh, more channels to advertise. Uh, as we all know that uh, uh, most of the students um, spend, spend their time on social media. That, that it will be an advantage to, to do advertising on the social media. And uh, it will strengthen the external communication. And uh, in conclusion, we believe our recommendation will help your business operate more efficient and uh, successful. Uh, and thank you for giving us the time to speak to your department. We hope to cooperate with you in the future. I'm now going to hand out an airplane shake cookie for everyone to remember us by, and also a business card with our contact information. Okay. All right, are there any questions for this organization or this company? Some more questions for team number one? Questions for team number one? All right, well, thank you very much.